Afternoon guys, hope you're all okay. I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad. I'm gonna put you somewhere, hang on. I'll shove you there. Yeah, I'll put you there. I've just got dishes. It's quarter past three. I've had my son and daughter here for two hours today. So, it's the first time I'm coming on. I went, they've both been into town. They've been to... They've both been to town, they've been to B, B and M and I think just had a quick look round. And then they come here. They don't have much time because they've got to get back for the little one. pick him up from school so I haven't really done anything today I went to the shop um, just grabbed some milk I thought I might as well make sure I'm topped up with milk And uh, she asked about my eyes, and she said her partner have real bad eyes with all the pollen and more the winter he suffers. And she said his eyes are similar to yours. All red and puffy and itchy and sore. She said you've had a lot of trouble with these eyes, trying to get some it sorted. I said I know. She said the one thing the doctor hasn't thought of is antihistamine tablets. I know some of you said me about them so she said try them you never know so I've got these I don't know if they're any good they're from her gal farm or something the brand name hay fever and allergy relief hay fever skin allergies dust and pet allergies so she said you can always try one a day of them she said I don't know I don't know what you know the doctor has said or things like that and I said about antibiotics I'm on she said but did she say it was an infection? I said, no, she's just given me. In case there is. She said, well, surely she'd know. So, she said, you don't know, just try them. They're not going to hurt you, you never know. She's just going by a partner because uh, 
that's where it attacks him, his eyes, and the sore, the itchy, the watery. I said, well, that's what mine's like. They're red. And in the morning, they're that puffing, swollen. He said, it's horrible. He suffers bad with it. I said, yeah. So... She said, I'm surprised doctors didn't give you antihistamines. I don't know why she's give you antibiotics. Yeah, she's a doctor. She said, I'm not. But clearly nothing's worked, has it? I said, no. She didn't even say it was an infection when I went, just, oh, take the tablets. So, uh, I don't know, I'm just tired of it. Uh... Anyway, I've just put some washing on and... I'm having um, a burger, a cheeseburger, and then I put extra cheese on, and I've got those fried onions, and uh, I didn't want any like fries or anything like that, so I'm having some new potatoes. I put the nice to be honest honestly in the oven and they'll come out like crispy the nice they are and I'll have probably peas with it so yeah I've got nothing done with them here my son took his washing he said I do appreciate it mother I haven't got any more. He managed to get someone to do it for him, so he took his washing, but it was nice, you know, seeing him. He said, just keep out of this cold weather, Mum. And for once, just till next week, just Take it easy, I don't know, rest or something. And then uh, keep going with your eyes and then... Uh, I got on to get me uh, a box of dog food for Dash, 40. You know the 40 pouches? He said, anything you want, we'll get it when we're in town. So they got me one of them. I do pay them for it. I can just transfer money over to them. And... Uh, My daughter said, I've got you some, uh, then use your moisturiser. I've bought you some stuff. So, I've got, and she said these are really good, aim for your eyelashes.
because you get pollen on your eyelashes and obviously it could go in your eyes, on your skin or anything because my eyelashes are itchy so she got me some skin tea tree 30 biogradable facial wipes with tea tree and peppermint she said they're really good she uses a lot of these then she got me a nourishing hand cream the size of this a honey peach for my lips I said flipping heck she said well we're trying anything aren't we mum I'm trying to help you something's got to work as well as what doctors give me, the creams. Well, she says, I've got you there. And then, uh, just don't go out in this cold, windy, wet, horrible weather. And I'll take you next week. Leave it till next week, and I'll take you a week today, and we'll go, and I'll take you in the car. And we'll uh, go do some shopping, do what you've got to do. I thought, yeah. So, if the weather's nice, she said, we'll walk down like before. Or if it isn't, she said, I'll take you in the car. She said, I reckon it's the winter. Has done this. And it doesn't make you feel exactly good, you know, in yourself when you're like this. But she said, just rest, take it easy and do what doctors said and even try the antihistamines I'm sure they're not going to hurt you you can always say well I've at least tried <coughs> and then I got she said you're just going to have to watch what you buy and then she got me this Cousins Care X Advanced Care three moisturizers She bought it to antibacterial hand wash She said use that as a hand wash not the other two A lot of these she uses because she has dry sensitive skin so she's like that I'm going to buy me And then uh what else did I get? I'm gonna. She got me some more cotton wool. She had this one's the better one. She finds baby bear. Hundred cotton wool pads. It's softer on your skin. Then uh, I've got this one off the doctor. I showed you. <coughs> Excuse me. And then the face cream off the doctor. She's been busy today. This one is green apple and peach autumn leaves hand cream. She said you can have that one because uh, it was a gift and she said it's not one she uses. Uh, Sanex. Skin Protect Gentle Clean Minimises Risk of Skin Irritation No percent Soap Shower Gel She would use that These are what she uses I don't know what this Nivea Normal to Dry Skin It's just a lotion That's a flipping egg Then she said these are brilliant Vitamin C infused sheet mask. 
brightening, revitalizing, moisturizing, nourishing with vitamin C and C weed to nourish and rejuvenate the skin. A mask and cucumber infused sheet mask, cooling and calming, moisturizing, purifying for fresher looking skin. Contains cucumber extract to purify and rehydrate the skin. And then she said for night time, Hydra Skin Effect Regeneration Gel Cream. She said you do enough for us, so I've been on a, a bit of a mission. And then you've got your stuff off your doctor, and then you've got your, I got from the optician, your eye drops. But she said, start to have, you know, pamper yourself. Sorry, guys, I'm trying not to show you my awful eyes. Action, the doctor would have said. She'd have had some idea. She says she's just probably trying to find different things, that's all, to clear it up. So yeah, they've been busy today. She's been on a buying mission. <laughs> That is so small. So she said the rest of the week you can uh, have a pamper. Pamper yourself and see if it helps. Right guys. Half six. All six. I have a shower. Yeah, I've got my dressing gown on and my PJs. And uh, I've just put my cream on. My face. It's this time of night when they water my eyes more, but it does feel like I've got something in my eye but I don't know right I enjoyed my tea it was nice I had the uh, it was nice I've just got to do my dishes so I'll talk to you while I'm doing these it was it was lovely I've just put some bedding out on the line and I've just put another lot in so I so I'll just get these done finish the video get that up for you and then I could chill for the evening it was lovely that those new potatoes are lovely in the oven they come out all crispy. And now cheese, onion, tomato, on my uh, burger, and I had mushrooms and peas. It was lovely. I did a load of dishes before, so there's not many. Just keep on top of it. I've got to mop my floor. And then that'll be me for another day. Well, I hope your day has gone okay. The sun is out. It would be nice, but we've got that wind and it's 
a bit nippy. I've just got this window to shut on that little one. I know I've got the extractor fan, but I also have the windows open as well when I'm cooking. Oh dear me. Could do with a brew. I reckon a brew. I'm ready for a brew. mints in the freezer and I forgot to give it my daughter. I've completely gone off mints and I forgot to give it to well they could have had some each. I've got a couple of bags in there of mints. It's no good because I have. I've just gone off mints. I've gone off spaghetti bolognese. Even pasta bacon I'm not that bothered about at the moment. I'm on Asda, so I'm, I'm looking at something different, basically. I think once I Still want to feel a bit better in myself. And hopefully these eyes get a bit better. I can uh, feel better in myself and start doing these meals I've been saying I'm doing. I can still do them, but... And I want to freeze them. It's handy then because you've got meals in the freezer when you want one. This is one thing with it windy. I'm getting washed and dry. Especially the bedding. I've just I've made my bed up. I've just got to put the pillow slips and the duvet cover on. I've got to wash them every day now. Especially with this cream and that. Right. There we go. Right, that one's for to go in the washing machine. I've got some cheese out, I'm thawing out. Right. <coughs> I'll have a brew. I'm going to try and put the tea, the lid to the tea bags on top of the mug in, oh, instead of uh, where it should go. I love Yorkshire tea. I used to like Tetley but it lost its taste so I went for this. 
Spirit. I know someone in the comments says I'm not the only one about Kenko. Everything, I don't know what it is. It's just don't taste like it used to. That's what I'm finding. Kenko used to be good, but this one's all right. I got the B and M, and then I've got this one. Colombian instant coffee. It's not bad, but not much taste in really to it. I can't drink less coffee. I used to, but I can't stop drinking it because it is oh, a good few years ago now. If you need uh, There you go. I'll leave them cloths there and then put them wash them too, mate. It's been a good few days back. I used to have real bad headaches. Really bad. It wasn't my brain. And then I changed my coffee. And they just went. Didn't have them again. It's something touch wood I've never really had is headaches. So if I get one, I do worry. <laughs> I've never really had headaches. You know what I mean? Never suffered with headaches. Well, that was the coffee. Right, just do this. I've got fruit cocktail. Fruit cocktail. For anyone that don't know it, it's uh, in a tin, this one. And it's got, I don't know, well, one cherry. That's all they give you. And then there's uh, peaches, I think pears, make pineapple, that sort of thing in it. And then I've got me uh, carnation milk. I love it on me, yeah, fruit. I've had this for breakfast, it's really nice. Right, there's my cup of tea. I'll go and sort your video out. I think I might have to get some, uh, not off the optician, some different eye drops because I'm not sure if these are any good. I don't know. He said dry eyes, so your eyes will water, but. They just don't seem to be doing anything. Right. Oh. <laughs> it's going to... I nearly put that cream on there. Oh, I've got more cherries. There you go. I nearly put that cream on over the fruit that was in the, you know, the dish, not my bowl. There we go, there's my pud. <laughs> I'm gonna stock up again on my fruit. Tin fruit, I stopped it for a bit. It really feels like 
You know when you have something in your eye? That's what it feels like in that eye. But can't be anything in there because he's locked. The optician, so... I don't know. Pull the bits. There we go, nice cup of tea. In my gunk. My gunk mug. Say what the heck is that? It's bird outside. Right, I'm gonna go, guys, and uh, get the video up for you. So, take care, stay safe, have a nice evening, and I'll speak to you all tomorrow. Bye, guys.